Jalofa, my name is Bitoni Ale Groom. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Wellington. Towards the end of my studies, which was in 2019, 2020, it was also the same time as COVID and I was trying to decide what to do for work. And then I had three other mates, Islanders in the design discipline, finishing their studies. So we thought it would be cool um, to really start our own little design business and have control about what we wanted to create. Came up with the name Vane. Uh, when you break it down, it's Va and there's in, and that short is for innovation. And so we really wanted to innovate the VAR in our sp specialized space of design. Uh, that eventually led us to be kind of an agency and we've been able to um, grab contracts and work in the field of Pacifica. So depending on what um, different organizations and uh, businesses may need, whether it's a website, whether it's uh, a brand, or from designing like a physical piece for a koha they want to give to their own client. We kind of offer these expertise and being Pacifica ourselves, we feel like that's a great point of difference. When I think of the future of work, there's going to be multiple tools and multiple ways for you to create income and create opportunity that it is really up to us to open up our minds to understand what these things could be. Um, whether that is work or whether that, whether you are artist, whether depending what avenue you want to choose, the whole internet is basically a good example of what you can do. And um, I guess from my experience, these machines that I have are just one small token of that massive spectrum of, of opportunity. And so we did crowdfund for some 3D printers. We thought this would be a great chance for us to not only work with our community, but also get some machines for ourselves to not only it's basically further our service to go beyond just doing website development and branding and then video content. Having our own machines will allow us to provide something more physical and tangible for possible clients. So one of my first projects with the three, 3D printers was just um, helping my auntie with her girl for Lisa. So she does, you know, clean up the channel. And I was like, you know, I'll just make some vases for you. Another cool thing that I was able to do with the machines was I actually got to go to Samoa and collaborate with my partner there and run a little 3D printing workshop with some kids there over in the holidays and that was another like a whole nother experience for me that I was like okay I think we're still learning as business so it's great to have our creative side but business is a whole nother game and you know as an individual you could just choose to continue in the workforce and continue those jobs you could look at the current status and be like what could I do different and you can do that 